Betta fish dropsy is a serious condition that affects the fish's internal organs, causing them to fill with fluid. Dropsy is a symptom not a disease itself. Dropsy can be caused by several factors such as a bacterial infection, poor water quality, overfeeding, or genetics. Bacterial infection is the most common cause of dropsy in betta fish. Poor water quality and overfeeding can weaken the fish's immune system, making it more susceptible to infection. Stress can also play a major role in dropsy development. Chronic stress can weaken fish's immune system, making them more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Dropsy can also be caused by internal parasites, kidney failure, or liver disease. The main symptom of dropsy is swelling of the fish's abdomen. This swelling can become so severe that the fish's scales protrude outward, giving it a pinecone appearance. Other symptoms include loss of appetite, lethargy, and difficulty swimming. There are different methods to treat dropsy bettas, including aquarium salt and a methylene blue bath. The treatment you choose depends on the underlying cause of dropsy. For instance, if poor water quality and stress cause dropsy, an aquarium salt treatment is ideal. However, if a bacterial infection causes dropsy, a methylene blue bath can be more effective. Unfortunately, if dropsy are caused by kidney or liver failure, the condition may be irreversible. Preventing dropsy in betta fish is easier than treating it. Keeping your aquarium clean and free from excessive bioload, waste, or food residue is critical. Regularly using a gravel vacuum to clean the sides and bottom of the tank will also help. Overcrowding the tank with too many tankmates can lead to stress and poor water quality, which increases the dropsy risk. Finally, it is essential to provide your bettas with a varied diet to ensure they receive all the necessary nutrients. How to distinguish betta fish dropsy from constipation? In both conditions, you may notice your betta fish belly is big and swollen. The easiest way to differentiate between the two is to observe if your fish passes stools or not. Passing stools indicate dropsy, while absence suggests constipation. You may also see a pinecone appearance on your betta fish when viewed from the top, which indicates dropsy rather than constipation. You can realize that all major betta fish diseases are primarily caused by bacterial, fungal, or parasites. Understanding the differences between these types of infection can help you prevent them. Low-quality water transmits most of these infections to bettas, which cause various diseases. They can all be prevented by maintaining a healthy tank environment. This includes regularly cleaning the tank, water changes, and monitoring water quality. In addition, avoiding overcrowding and minimizing stress in the tank environment can reduce betta fish diseases. By following these steps, you can keep your betta healthy and happy. The purpose of this channel is to spread awareness about keeping betta fish happy and healthy around the world. If you found this video useful and feel may helpful for others, do me a favor and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. It's totally free, and it helps support this channel so I can keep making more content for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.